click the bell icon to turn on notifications. In this course, not only are we going to be exploring how to create macros to automate repetitive tasks, we're also going to be taking a look at the underlying VBA code. Now, the idea here isn't to turn you into computer programmers overnight, but it is definitely worth taking the time to at least be able to understand the VBA editor window, be able to read through your macros and be able to make minor edits to solve any issues that you might come across. And that's pretty much what we're going to do throughout the balance of this course. But before we get started with the creation of macros and delving into VBA, let's start out with just a quick explanation of what VBA actually is. And then I'm going to show you the VBA editor window and some things you should probably turn on, which is going to help you when you're working with VBA. Now, VBA stands for Visual Basic for Applications. And it's not just something that you'll find in Excel. In fact, you'll find it in all of the Microsoft applications. And it's basically the programming language that sits behind the application. So it's used for programming, editing and running application code. And the way that it relates to macros is that when you record a macro in Excel, you're essentially creating VBA code in the background. So it's pretty important for you to be able to jump into that code that sits behind your macro and be able to make minor changes and customize it. So let's start out just by taking a look at the VBA window and how you can quickly access it. Now, make sure that you have an Excel worksheet open, and then there's a couple of different ways that you can jump into the VBA editor. Now, the first one is by using the developer ribbon. Now, if you take a look up at my ribbon tabs, you'll see that I don't have one there called developer. And if you look at your own ribbon tabs, you might not have it there either. And that's because the developer tab isn't usually turned on by default. So this is the first thing I would suggest you do if you want to work with macros and VBA. And it's a very simple process. We just need to jump up to the file tab to jump into the backstage area all the way down to options. And we want to select customize ribbon because this is where we can find all of the ribbons that we have turned on. And if you take a look on the right hand side, you'll see that towards the bottom, I have the developer ribbon currently unchecked. So all we need to do is put a check in that box, click on OK. And now I have my developer ribbon. And this is where you'll find a lot of your commands that are related to your macros and also VBA. So in this first code group, you can see we have a visual basic icon and there's a keyboard shortcut for this. And I will say that I tend to use this keyboard shortcut more than coming to the developer tab and clicking on the icon. So to jump straight into the VBA editor, if you press Alt F11, it's going to open up the window. Now I'm just going to move mine over very slightly because we've got quite a lot going on here. So I really want you just to understand what it is that you're looking at. Now, the first thing that's most apparent when you come into VBA is that it is kind of old school. If you remember back to earlier versions of Excel before we got the fancy ribbon system, we were using menu drop downs. And that is pretty much what you still have when you go into VBA. So I have menu drop down system at the top and I also have a toolbar underneath. And this whole window is basically made up of other windows. So you can see here on the left hand side, I have the VBA project window open. And this is showing me currently everything I have going on in any workbooks that I have open. So currently where I'm clicked, if you take a look, it says VBA project book two. And if you look at the Excel spreadsheet I have behind, that is just book two. I haven't renamed this yet. I haven't saved it. I just basically opened a blank document. It's shown me that I have sheet one. And if I double click on sheet one, I get a blank window because I haven't added anything into this worksheet as yet. However, if you look a bit further down, I have another workbook open. So this was the workbook I had open in the first module of this course, where I was running through all the different examples of macros. And that workbook was called Examples of Macros. And then underneath, you can see the sheet 
And then in brackets, it has the macro that I'm using on those particular sheets. And this is just what I've called each of my individual macros. And then right at the bottom here, we have some modules. And I'm currently clicked on module one. And this basically shows me all of the code related to these macros. So you can see here sheet one, I have a delete blank rows macro in use. And then up here, we have the code that is actually running that macro. Underneath that, I have the macro that applies accounting format to my spreadsheet. And you can see there, I have the VBA code that controls that particular macro. And I could carry on going down. You can see I have a different section for each of those macros in use in that workbook. Now, I don't want you to worry too much about the code and what the code says or what it means. All I really want you to understand here is that the VBA project window is kind of a way to browse around the different parts of any open workbooks. And of course, in the middle here, this big window is the code window where we can view our code for different macros or different modules that we've written, and we can make changes and edits. Now, by default, I like to have a couple of other windows open in my VBA editor. So to open some additional windows, if you jump up to the view menu, I also like to have turned on my properties window. So let's click to open that. And all of these windows you can actually resize just by dragging up and down. So I'm going to drag that down to make that a little bit smaller. And I also like to have open the immediate window. Now I'm going to explain a bit more what this immediate window is a bit later on, but I'm just going to keep this down the bottom for the time being. So essentially what we're going to be using these windows for throughout this course is I'm going to show you how you can record different macros in Excel. We're then going to jump into the VBA code and take a look at the code that sits behind those macros. And I'm going to show you how you can make some really basic modifications without having to know a great deal about programming or VBA. Because once you understand a few key factors, the code is pretty easy to read through and modify. And then towards the end of this course, we're actually going to create our own macros from scratch. So we're going to have a blank window open in the VBA editor, and we're going to start to write out our own macro. And hopefully you're going to see how easy it is. Now, once you finish with the VBA editor, you can just simply click on the cross in the top corner to close that down. And remember, if you need to bring it back again, you can click on the Visual Basic button on the developer ribbon, or you can just press Alt F11 to jump straight back in there. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To get four free courses in Excel, QuickBooks, Microsoft Project, and Photoshop, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.